in my last video we have uh, seen an animal kind of uh, statue which has been erected in the new york uh, united nations center and they call it a jaguar or something but the bible describes the exact kind of government which is arising from the people of the earth, the peoples of the earth okay that means all the people together combined with their uh, emotions and their mindset they want to bring about a certain kind of government which is going to be an aggressive oppressive rule on the whole earth and this kind of government is prophesied in revelations chapter 13 and i'll just describe to you just recollect a little bit of what we have seen in the last video uh, revelation 13 verse 2 and the beast which i saw was like unto a leopard his feet were as the feet of a bear and the mouth of a lion and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority so this particular animal the un described as a jaguar but the bible says it's a leopard and the feet were the feet of a bear it did have a feet of a bear and the mouth was like the mouth of a lion it was it had a mouth of a lion and the dragon gave him his power it had two wings like a dragon and is and his seat that is the throne and great authority the dragon gave him as the power a seat and great authority this is to rule the whole world so in this video we are going to see what this particular beast is about this particular beast is called the beast from the sea there are two kinds of beast which is uh, prophesied to be arising in the last days okay in revelations 13 one is from the sea and one is from the earth so we are today we are going to concentrate on what is the beast out of the sea so we are going to see in verse 1 it says i stood upon the sand of the sea and i saw a beast rise up out of the sea the sea is a symbolic of peoples of the whole earth okay rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns upon his horns uh, upon his horns ten crowns and upon his heads the name of blasphemy so we are going to see what this particular beast is about it uh, the beast is a symbolic of a empire empire we have already seen in daniel uh, empires we have seen the babylonian empire medo persian and grecian empire and the roman empire and this is going to be another empire coming out of the last days okay this is going to be a terrible terrible empire which is going to oppress people like no other empire has ever oppressed so this is going to be a terrible kind of thing okay and we have to be aware of what is going to happen see here it says in verse 7 this particular beast this particular empire okay which is going to be forming out of the peoples of the earth it is going to make war with the saints chapter 7 says and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them the power was given him over all kindreds tongues and nations we will see what this beast is about okay so in order to understand this particular beast we need to turn to revelations chapter 17 revelations chapter 17 has that particular symbology which uh, which is the seven heads and the ten horns the seven heads and the ten horns chapter 17 verse 9 says and here is the mind which hath wisdom the seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth see god describes all these things in amazing symbologies so that is why people get carried away reading the end times and a lot of people are, are unable to decode the uh, message here because it's all full of symbologies so the woman here okay it is a symbolic of a of a particular kind of uh, organization or a, or a government or some kind of a thing it's a system okay so this woman we will see in verse 1 verse uh, chapter 17 verse 1 it says uh, and there came unto and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials talking to me saying unto me come hither i will show thee the judgment of the great war that sitteth upon many waters means the all kinds of people so this is a great war a great prostitute with that is sitting upon many waters that means all the peoples of the earth okay and uh, and this and, and verse 4 says the woman that is this war 
uh, was arrayed in purple and scarlet color decked with gold and precious stones and pearls and this woman should be i think uh, it should be some something beautiful beautiful see see here says it says it it's, it was arrayed in purple scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand with full of abomination and filthiness of her fornication and the next verse says verse 5 upon her head was the name written mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth so this is kind of a this is a mystery babylon in the modern times okay it is not the exact babylon in the ancient babylon but the babylon was a symbolic of a religious system a worship to satan disguised in so many different symbologies so this kind of uh, babylon the worship of satan in the modern age this age okay this is a age of scientific advancements i'm able to talk to you over just a video so this is a great technological adv advancement okay and this in this age satan is able to make people worship him okay there is a kind of system which he has formed in which people can worship him knowingly or unknowingly i we don't know but people are able to worship satan so this is the mystery babylon okay this is the kind of mystery babylon and please forgive me if you are part of this particular uh, system okay i am not targeting any any particular uh, national or race or any kind of religion or anything any belief system okay this is this is plain bible study i don't want to offend anybody my intention is not to offend anybody because i have friends in every religion in every belief system in every in a lot of different uh, other languages they speak different languages and some are other nationals also but i do not want to hurt anybody this is my humble request please uh, do not be offended if you are uh, if you realize that this particular system is the thing that you belong to but god says god is beckoning you to come out of that chapter 18 it says come out of her my people that ye may be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues so if you realize by watching this video if you realize that you are part of this particular system and you are enlightened that this is not the thing that you have to be, you belong to god asks you to come out of that system come out of the system my people he says my people that means he has his own people in that particular system he doesn't he, once you realize that uh, this is a wrong thing he asks you to come out of it she is going to be punished severely and all the members of this particular war who are participating in her uh, wardom uh, they are going to be punished also okay this is all a symbology okay this is a, a symbology that we will uncode okay here now it says this great war in chapter 17 it says uh, i will show thee the judgment of the great war that sitteth upon many waters with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication okay and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk and the woman was arrayed in purple scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abomination and filthiness of her fornication okay and this particular woman i saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints verse 6 and with the blood of the martyrs of jesus this is this particular woman this war is going to persecute the saints of jesus christ and it has the blood of saints it has drunk the blood of saints and throughout history we see that this particular war has drunk the thousands and thousands of bloods of saints the souls of saints okay and and when i saw her i wondered with great admiration this is a particular kind of system which peep which makes people wonder at her amazement and the angel said unto me wherefore did thou marvel i will show thee the mystery of the woman and that the and the beast that carried her okay so here <coughs> in verse 9 it says here is the mind which hath wisdom so this is the this is the key verse which we which we can use to understand who this particular war is 
so here is the mind which hath wisdom the head the seven heads are the seven mountains the seven heads the seven mountains on which the woman sitteth so this woman the war is sitting on seven mountains subscribe to this channel and like this video and share this video I please request you to like subscribe and share this video i want you to join our discord server okay i'll put a link for the discord server please join our discord server and we will have good discussions over there have a great day god bless you